Why would they leave their panties out there, though? Unless those were my underwear. He didn't mention those, but I think we can safely assume that it was the girls who did that. What's over here? Where am I? Okay, cool. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Well, you know, just... You got boots. Stomp it. Okay, so you can unlock shortcuts later on. That's good to know. Long drop down, so let's double check. Make sure I haven't lost anything. Ah, oh well. If I have, I have. Oh god, that's... Ugh. Makes me all shivery inside. Supply drop? To the north? Yeah, that's those we should go to the north. Ah, wonderful. Can I? <laughs> ah, shit. All right. Let's... I don't think I saw any beer cans. Oh, skills, man. Skills. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin. Cool. I better get that picture. <laughs> well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah. It was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. <laughs> anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an mm. eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Ooh, you're gonna let me repel? There we go. Lovely. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. 
She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Thank you. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay... Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Cycle around. See, because I don't want to miss anything. That's the thing. I want to keep going. I want to search around. I don't want to let anything go by the wayside. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. What are they keeping in? What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh. Geez, so many things. <laughs> Should I just stop you now? Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even. Full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Ha-ha. <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high-quality information. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. Jesus. What's with all the burnt down parts of the woods? See, now if I'd just gone along the main path to where I knew I had to go to heat. Don't you climb down there? I had a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Ooh, there's entire areas on... Yeah, have been burnt, burnt down. So what was I saying back there before she interrupted me? Uh, if I, yeah, say so I am gonna explore around a lot because I feel this kind of game, this style of game. So, how'd you meet? Damn you, Delilah, I'm talking. <laughs> this style of game is you search for the story and that's what makes it amazing. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, okay, we'll let Delilah talk because she's more interesting than I am. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Huh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so I think that's the way I gotta go. So let's just have a quick little looky-loo around. <sighs> Anything up hither? Maybe that's a drop down. I don't know, let's check the map. Where do I have to go? What the fuck is that? Okay, so. Oh, that's fucking way in the distance. God damn. 
Okay, yeah, so I think they both they both just lead the same direction. Okay, yeah, that fence is there. At Wapiti Meadow. So something happened at Wapiti. So that was what the guys are talking about in the note that we read. So I gotta come back down, okay. Alright, so this is just this, this is the same way. Loop the loop, loop the rope, rope. Wait, wait, that seems like a nice photo op. Yeah. Wow, I'm on top of a natural oh. bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> I friggin' love the back and forth these two have going on. It just feels real. Like, it doesn't feel cliche, it doesn't feel like oh, I can I can guess what they're gonna say next. It just feels nice. It feels real, and I like it a lot. I'd say that is probably, like, the... Hello? That is like the, one of the one of the number one things that I like the most about this game is that feeling that I have when I play it. And that's great. And then the music starts. And it is lovely. Let's go this way. Wait, check this way. Okay, right way to go anyway. The blocked trail. Oh wow, so I just I did a complete cycle back round. Yeah, so that was Thunder Canyon that I jumped across. Alright. So that's Cache 306. Yeah. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Ah, <sighs> sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it right now. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I am going to close my window and I am going to turn subtitles back off because I thought it was a good idea to put them on and that was a wrong, wrong decision. Now I'm trying to hunt down some vandals and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. It's, uh... Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So down here is the shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. I hope I make a comment about it. He makes I hope he makes a comment about it. Yes. Well I'm back at my shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. 
Yeah, but now I've got a proper good rope. And I hope it isn't going to snap and scare the shit out of me again. Uh, uh, uh. Success, motherfucker. Yo, bitch, I did it. Yeah. I did it. Fucking roped for days. I have Adele stuck in my head. I'm sorry if I if I start randomly singing it. I'm sorry, but it, it's it's probably gonna happen. Wow, is it getting late or is it just me? Have we been out here all day? God, time goes fast. All right. All right. So if I go straight on, yeah, it doesn't matter if I go left or right. So that rock is on the map. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I go left or right. I can straight. Yeah, cool. I can go either left or right. Let's go left. Mitch Michaels. Uh huh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. What can I reply to that? What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope. It's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. <laughs> Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Fucking beautiful. Oh, I love it when the music starts. What's up here? Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Fuck, I am so goddamn impressed with this. Like, the style, the music, the floaty grass, there's a little bit of a loading error, I think. No, this game is... Oh, best game I've played this year, let's just say that. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here, it looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Hmm. 
I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Uh, I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Man. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um... Jesus. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Can I? Can I? Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. And stealing panties is gross, Al. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it's worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Well, you're in a video game, so... Day three! Jesus. Okay, that was pretty intense. Unlike those girls, who are no longer intense. <laughs>